What's up guys, Trackermas here. I'm doing a live commentary strategy guide to the new map Moon. It's kind of like the way to get um, the highest rounds that I've gotten to. It's how I've um, done it. I haven't really gotten to particularly high rounds. I think I got to round 25, which is the highest for now. But I think I'm getting better. Uh, anyway, I'm going to press A to skip now. Um, yeah, straight away you can list the pack a bunch, and here, which you're going to be really interested in, it's either Juggernaut or Speed Cola. You don't want it to be Speed Cola because it's not quite as useful as Juggernaut, and we are going to be getting it at one point. So, yep, Speed Cola again. Just keep restarting it until you get it. This um, map pack has been out for about four days now, I think. And... Oop, there we go. So as soon as you get Juggernaut, you um, check that first, of course, so that you don't um, like do really well. And then notice, oh crap, it's Speed Cola. <laughs> so yeah, those two mud pools are probably the places where um, most of the zombies are going to spawn. There's quite a bit of, um, or at least most of the zombies that are going to spawn in places that you can actually get them from. Um, the second you hear that kind of doo doo nuke sound, um, you're going to want to start running around in this kind of uh, way. In this circular place, oh dear, quite a few there, first kind of place is probably the most difficult, but as soon as you can, you're going to want to start cooking grenades and throwing them at the zombies to kill them, hopefully, and using up your ammo, basically, um, dogs, um, for quite a while, um, in the early stages of this, they will die in one shot from a knife, so that's pretty good, um, I'm going to cook another grenade now, Three, four, five. So, a couple of well um, timed and placed grenades can easily get you a lot of points towards um, saving up for the pack of punches, is what we're going to do first. Oh, yes, that's good, they um, die in one as well. Ooh. Ooh, be careful. So, yeah, you might as well knife crawlers as you go by. Um, for the original stages of this. Okay. Knife roll. Now. Ooh, hello. You died. Oh, why is he just still walking? Like a lich. He's still walking, man. He's still walking. What are you doing? I don't think that's meant to be happening. So, um. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore that, I guess. Um, for now, you're just running around here. Um, the crawlers may eventually just get um, too strong for you to knife them in one. I'm not sure if they actually... Um, I'm not sure if they um, only the um, zombies that spawn increase in strength, or if it's actually just the zombies that are already there that increase in strength. But um, either way, the zombies that spawn definitely increase in strength. So um, that's why you... Um, want to use up your ammo and um, grenades as quickly as possible so that you can actually get the kills because of course kills are more point um, they give you more points than it, they do if you just hit them like this so basically um, the long and boring way to do it which is I'm afraid what I'm probably going to have to do which you pretty much always have to do for a certain amount of time is um, Basically, what I do, run around to here, knife the dog as I just did then, then run around to here now, and... Oh, no, knife the dog! So... There you go, knife them again, and there you go, knife them again. It's probably better if there's less dogs, because that way, um... They can... There's less likely that all three of them will hit you at once, which has never happened to me, actually, but, um... Even so, it's better to be safe than sorry. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. I will, um, I'm probably going to, uh, well, not stop the recording, I'll just kind of like cut it to um, the place when I have pretty much enough for the pack punch, and I will see you then. Okay, and we're back. I've um, saved a lot of um, time by shooting the crawlers that I'd made in the head. I got loads of points from that. So yeah, now I've got already got enough for um, pack a punch, just um, oh, might as well use up the ammo that you've already got to get a couple of extra points towards Juggernaug. So yeah, now, getting the pack a punch 
isn't quite as difficult as you might expect, um, as long as you've got a fairly quick running of this kind of uh, stretch, just try and run as much as you can to actually get around, and as long as you um, are there, it won't swallow your weapon. So there you go, Mustang and Sally. Now you might be thinking, Woohoo, I've got Mustang and Sally, I can do whatever I want, and boom, boom, bleh. But you can't actually do that, because of course, when you do kill the zombies, new zombies will spawn, which means there are more zombies coming in from somewhere we are probably not familiar with by now. And of course, it's more difficult when they're coming actually from different different directions and um, therefore you're probably going to be wanting to kill um, as little zombies as possible I guess I guess you probably want to kill a few zombies but not too many while using this so basically single shots at a time with Mustang and Sally try not to um, let the um, I know that last time I tried recording this it took me it's taken me quite a while, um, quite a few attempts to actually do this. I know I think I did it pretty much all the time that we in before. Um, the first time I did it was, um, it was in only like two attempts, because it's taken quite a few. But um, yeah, basically try not to let the, zon let the dogs come up in your face as you're um, trying to shoot the other um, zombies as you go around because that has happened to me before and believe me it is not nice it is really horrible because you can just get down straight away because one has just come up in your face and it the um and of course of course because the oh it happened just then but luckily i didn't get hit as well so yeah i think it's a lot safer to do it around there in that kind of area because it isn't as close to you at all um, because there's that barrier there i was about to aim in them by pressing the left trigger which wouldn't have been good and there you go, I've got enough points for jumping up now. <coughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to let all these zombies spawn in, because there are a couple more still spawning. And then I'll show you the easiest way, I guess, to get Juggernaut. So, yeah, here, I've got them all behind me. Now, soon, run quickly, get Juggernaut there. Make sure you do get it, because if you don't, then basically you're screwed. Um, shoots on to be able to get through and there you go um, you can probably get through anyway even without shooting them but you know better safe than sorry um, it's probably best actually if you don't shoot them because then you don't stand the risk of um, just like shooting yourself uh, even slow. now I've got Juggernaut I'm of course a lot stronger so I don't need to be quite so careful but you know still be careful don't um, get too cocky um, I'm gonna want to probably because it's quite likely that I'm going to get a max ammo and of course because the zombies on the moon will, the rounds will actually start so um, they'll be weaker again than they are here and I'm quite likely to get a um, max ammo now um, well not now um, you can't, I don't think you can get drops on here apart from the um, weapon drops and the quantum entanglement device um, basically I'm just running around here doing exactly the same thing to build up a few points um, so that I can unlock quite a few doors and of course get um, Crit Revive the second time round to um, ooh, run straight into him, just head to first. Let's go, ooh, right on charge. <laughs> okay. Basically, yeah, now I'm just getting a few points from um, using Mustang and Sally. It's quite likely that I'm going to get a max ammo before I really going to have much need of this, so, um, yeah, just running around, using my stone so jogging on the pack a punch before round one has even started, and that will help you quite a bit when you're, when you actually get and there we go. So I'm using up quite a bit of ammo over here, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to get a max ammo. How many times have I said that? Probably about four or five, but never mind. I think I've got loads of us for that one. Probably take loads more than three hits from the dog now. I've got Juggernaut. So yeah, I'm just using up some of my ammo. I've got over 3,000 points now. Probably go about four or five thousand. 
Oh, when I run out of ammo, either one. I'm running quite fast, those ones. Bloody fast. One more and then I'm gonna go to the moon. Now run! Din, 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 din. And there we go, I survived 11 minutes and 42 seconds and I'm on the moon with tons of points, Juggernog and Mustang and Sally. Of course the first round you might as well just stay in here because they'll die in one hit now because of course it's round one now. And there we go. Took me quite a while to get that. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> oh dear. Um, of course, these. Yeah, the reason why you probably want to save a bit of ammo because of them. Um, if they get too close to, the, to you, they'll either steal your quick revive. If they, uh, they will kind of grab you and headbutt you, and they will steal one of your perks, which wouldn't be <laughs> best for me at the moment. It would be very annoying. But anyway, they'll die in one shot from Mustang and Sally. For now, I'm getting loads of points. Um, so yeah, now I can pretty much open every single door that I'll need to to show you. So yep, might as well go this way. Doesn't really matter which way you go. Get back up there. What? Okay, there we go. Just forgotten which way I'm going. Oh, there's another one of them. There we go. And now, I'm going to open this door. And where's the RAM box? It can be there, but it isn't on this particular playthrough. I'm going to turn on the power, which is just here. And there you go. Ooh, there's one here. It's only round two, by the way. <laughs> you may think, oh, I'm quite far in. I spent quite a lot of time doing this, actually. But, you know, maybe 15 minutes around about now. But it's only round two, and I've already unlocked a load of doors. So yeah, we're going to want to go up here. Oh, the Bowie knife is there. I saw it in another video. Um, you're going to have to shoot a... Um, is that a diamond? No, I don't. <coughs> so yeah, I'm going to basically... How much does this one cost? Uh, 1,000. Ah oh, yeah, the random box isn't there. There we go. Oh well. I think it's probably going to be in the biodome, if that's the case. But for now, I'm just going to be knifing these zombie... All the Nova gas teleporter things. That's kind of new. Oh yeah, double points. That's what I want. And it's the end of the round. Pardon me. Ooh. So yeah, then I'm going to save up for the Bowie knife. I haven't actually bought it yet. I only saw it like yesterday, thanks to this guy who um, found it. And um, you have to kind of like destroy a window to actually get it, but it's pretty good. Props on the guy who um, found it, by the way, I'll show you the I don't know what I'll do. Will I even do anything? I don't know. Even so, <coughs> I always advise getting the bow knife if you can get it on low rounds. Then it's just bloody brilliant at getting you points. Knife, ooh, knife, knife. Ooh, oh. Yeah, you dare touch him. Knows nothing. 